Hi, I'm Greg from Ivanhoe Cycles and just like to give you some information on the Fondriest TF2 1.0, which is one of the latest model bikes from Fondriest, uh, an Italian brand and the name of the former world champion Maurizio Fondriest. It's a really nice carbon frame and it's, uh, it's probably necessary to actually lay hands on it to realise the shaping that's in all these tubing. But the, the main bar for here, for instance, is almost flat across the bottom, as uh, fluting along the sides here curved and then almost a triangular shape on top so it's found to be a really strong shape um, gives maximum power transfer and no flex in the frame so there's no twisting so it's really stable under high speed conditions when you're descending a mountain or uh, under a lot of load going up a mountain so um, really great shape uh, it allows the manufacturer to have make the wall thickness really thin so there's no additional weight or no unrequired weight so has the best of both worlds, it's light and it's strong. Um, oversized bottom bracket, large size chain stays. Um, it's a bike, you know, built to race on. It's really, really strong, really light. Uh, another nice feature of this particular bike is the fact that it has a Camp Agnolo group set on it. Uh, in this case, the Chorus 11 speed. So the latest group set from Campag. It's uh, a number of carbon components in this, including the cranks, the levers, and the uh, rear derailleur. So along with the carbon seat post and the carbon handlebar and stem, you know, it shows the importance that manufacturers place on uh, that wonderful material, carbon fibre. It's the ideal uh, material for most bicycle components. So this bike with the Campag Chorus, uh, you could say it's the third model down with Campag Nike, because there's super record and record above it. Uh, but Chorus is exceptional value and really good quality. So it's a bike that would satisfy most riders needs even to quite a high racing standard. Uh, this particular bike has a compact crank set so the only difference a, a full-on race bike would have would be a regular crank set with a 53 chainring and a 39 as opposed to this 50 and 34. However this is fantastic for most recreational riders these days. Another nice feature of this bike is the Mavic Sirium wheels. Uh, these are quite a lightweight wheel with the scalloped out section in the rims between each spoke hole. So they've just eliminated some unnecessary material and by doing that everywhere on both wheels uh, they've reduced the weight a little so all that helps, all those grams saved here and there helps in the overall uh, construction of the bike so the weight of this bike's around uh, 7 kilograms which is just above the legal weight limit for racing. So as I mentioned this is a Campag Chorus 11 speed. Uh, two cogs at the front, 11 at the rear, which is the latest version, meaning 22 gears in total. And the, although there's 22, they're very easy to operate via the Ergo Power lever here at the front. So we have an upshift lever on the outside, a downshift button on the inside, and I'll just give you a quick demonstration on how they work. With the Camp Agnolo shift levers, you can change one gear at a time if you wish. Or if you hold the lever across further, you can change multiple gears both up and down. So you can change one gear at a time if you wish, or hold the lever and you can change multiple gears. In fact, you can go from top to bottom in one go if you wish. So uh, for emergency situations in a race, or what you think may be an emergency situation, if someone's attacking over the top of the hill and you uh, are in the wrong gear, you can change gears quite quickly or if you happen to puncture in a race and you need to change the wheel very quickly you can change from the top sprocket to the bottom sprocket in order to get the wheel out quickly uh, without wasting any time so it's a really nice feature another nice feature of these is the fact that the levers the upshift lever is so close to the handlebar so uh, even someone with small hands can find that changing gears is quite easily there's no big stretch to reach the lever and likewise with the shift lever on the, in, on the button on the inside, it's very easy to operate. So uh, people with small hands, lots of women really prefer the Camp Agnolo shifter because of that. And uh, lots of others like myself uh, just love it because it's Italian. So what could be better? Camp Agnolo group set on a nice Fondry S frame. So if you need any more help with uh, this bike or any other Fondry S bikes, just give us a call and uh, we'll see if we can help you out. Thanks.